King had used SCLC funds to pay for liquor and numerous prostitutes, both black and white, which were brought to his hotel rooms, often two at a time, for drunken sex parties which sometimes lasted for several days. These types of activities were the norm for King's speaking and organizing tours. In fact, an outfit called the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis, Tennessee, which is putting on display the two bedrooms from the Lorraine Motel where King stayed the night before he was shot, has declined to depict in any way the occupants of those rooms. That, according to exhibit designer Gerard Eisterhold, would be close to blasphemy. The reason? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spent his last night on earth having sex with two women at the motel and physically beating and abusing a third. Sullivan also stated that King had alienated the affections of numerous married women. edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Recently, uh, I've been witnessing some exchanges that uh, the people on the conspiracy science blog, uh, one of them even went so far as to theorize that I'm not actually married to my wife. edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I have a small problem that Neil is into devil worship and that he has a restraining order against him for battling his wife. For most of us point these are important issues. I would just like to hear Neil's reply. No, you are not sick King. You are probably dimmel and read about being banned from Hurricane F. Second, second of all, no, I do not worship, 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 or do I believe in the devil. Third, third, third of all, I do have a restraining order against me from my life, against me from my life, my life. She is mentally unstable, mentally unstable, unstable, and started physically hurting my children. So I called a mental hospital and they instructed me to restrain, restrain her and call the police. After she was released she moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. She moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Boy, 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 boyfriend new. Ironically, does worship Satan. Worship Satan. Satan. He also stabbed his wife recently. So I dare, I dare, I dare, I dare say my wife's judgment about what constitutes abuse kind of lacking, as she acted to cover it up. And was quoted as saying you should not have bothered him. You should not have bothered him. Bothered him. She just asked to use her computer. I had not tried to contact my life at all willingly since she had left. My life at all willingly since she had left. 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 She moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Boy. 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 Eventually, when I got the utility bills, I realized she had not paid the bills since 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 March. So I called, so I called, 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 called the police near where she was living and brought them with me to talk to her about calling the utility companies to inform them she had moved. This was recolored by my life as harassment. Harassment. At any rate, she was able to get a restraining order against me. She was able to get a restraining order against me. me, me. She was able to get a restraining order against me in West Virginia, a state that has shown s -s statistically that 80.3% of the time restraining orders there are issued for no, no, no good reason. Reason. She moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Boy, 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 boyfriend. The judge did not listen to my testimony, and in fact, I was only able to speak for about 30 seconds. 
My wife started cry 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 crying. She moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Boy 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 boyfriend. And that was basically it. it. He started writing out the order while one of my witnesses was testifying and didn't allow me to call my other witness. He told me that despite the fact that I was told to restrain restrain my life to protect my children, it was still domestic domestic violence. Violence. After doing a bit of study, I learned that restraining orders have gotten way out of control. The burden of proof is tiny, and they tell the judges to just give them out, as it is safer that way. Anything else you want to reveal about my personal life here, troll, 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 troll? Do you realize this is not helping you? It's helping me. All right. So, how long you've been married? Almost 10 years. Almost 10 Woo! years. Wow. Do you love him? Yes, I do. Did you have any idea? Well, you knew that he had a child with Yeah. Him. But other than that, did you have any idea he was cheating on you? Yeah. You did? Why do you stay with him if you know he cheats on you? Because well, I love him all my heart and I'm getting him back. He's coming home with me. Baby, if you Talk think you can, you can bring home with me. Uh, no, I'm not. Recently, uh, I've been witnessing some exchanges that uh, uh, people on the Conspiracy Science blog. Uh, one of them even went so far as to theorize that I'm not actually married to my wife. He instructed me to restrain her and call the police. After she was released, she moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. She moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Moved to West Virginia to be with her new boyfriend. Boy, 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 boyfriend. In terms of marriage, I think that we had a resource-based economy tomorrow, where people have access to their needs. We have access to the resources that we need to make our lives better. Jack Fresco had a child and a girlfriend. They all had a home they lived in. Jack Fresco's daughter was called Bambi Fresco. When he started his cult in the 1960s he had people come to his home and they'd all sit in his living room listening to him. Roxanne Meadows was one of his flower children. They all, as a group started paying to visit and listen, and Jack and Roxanne decided they should get their own land as a group. The group comprised of mainly low-income earners. They bought some land and Jack and Roxanne sold that land therefore liquidated their social engineering company. During this time Jack was cheating with Roxanne behind his child's mother's back. At this time Jack Fresco was around 50 years of age Roxanne Meadows was around 21 years of age. They then moved in together in the new land they bought with other people's money. The other people who paid for it had no say in this new land only Jack and Roxanne did. That's the basic story. My name is your Pipes Need. I was a member who helped pay for the original land for the Venus Project and was cut out of the new land they bought. I witnessed this all happen first hand. Ladies, do you understand that there are some people that feel that you, you don't have a choice? Um, that um, 